Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this video is about the trim tool, trim holes, and yeah, everything you need to know about the trimming things. Um, I hope so. Here, this is important. A Boolean trim respects neither a mask or a hidden part. So Boolean always trims completely through everything. So yeah, so no mask helps or yeah, nothing helps. So this is just to remember Boolean cuts everything. And the other things are, these are the settings that are important. So um, front vertex, check the front vertex setting uh, and then the methods to trim, the boolean trim, legacy trim, fill or none. Okay, so we need examples. Here are a lot of examples. And one important thing is, uh, now it's time to sculpt such pumpkin heads <laughs> and check your mesh how it looks like. So use this wireframe button here and check the topology, check the inside of the mesh. So um, for this here you have, um, so if I clear the height, it looks from the outside looks fine. So, but when I'm, I show inside the mesh yeah. and here in the hierarchy, it's only one part so when you trim something here like this you get problems so and this one here let's have a look inside this one is fine so this is a, a nice mesh to trim and the last one here so sometimes you have such a, a double-sided mesh here. So here I'm using the solo view. You see here there's a oops sorry there's an outer shell and an inner shell. So yeah. Okay. So and everything reacts different with a um, with a trim tool. So So let's use this one here. You see it's only one uh, shell here. So and the first thing I try here with the trim tool, trim, and then check the filter settings here. Maybe in version 190 it looks a little bit different but there's also the front vertex only checkbox. So if this checkbox is not active or disabled, so something like this happens. So it, it trims completely through the mesh. Okay, and here you see here also, here are the other settings here, legacy, fill, none, and boolean. So as I said, boolean respects nothing. So here when I'm using boolean and use the checkbox for front facing vertex only, and I trim here, so it trims through the mesh, so you can do nothing. Um, so you can mask this part here, mask the back side and use this boolean trim here. Sorry, I have to use the trim tool. So here trim, it cuts through the mask, through everything. So this boolean uh, stops on no border so 
Um, okay. So for this mesh here, you use for the trimming the, the, the none option here and here in the settings, the filter settings, front facing vertex only. So you only want to, to trim here the front vertex and no closing option and then it's fine. Okay, so let's go to this object here and use the same settings here. So front vertex only and you trim here, you're only cutting or trimming through the first mesh. And you see here, the here it's also the front um, face, so it doesn't stop. So again here, so maybe we can see it a little bit better. So here it uh, trims also this side. Okay, the question is what to do. So I pick now this mesh here. I think there's a height tool. And I clear this one. Ah, and first I want to explain something, uh, um, uh, other thing here. So you see here, here's low poly count. And we try to trim here. At the moment, I use legacy. So It's really confusing sometimes. So you see here this hole, it's not a nice hole in legacy mode. So again, I try to trim, not nice. So here in the settings, you uh, find here a detail slider. You can change this slider, so maybe more detail brings a better result so but it's not perfect so you can check here the the boolean and try with boolean so here you get a, a real nice circle so the circle is much rounder and here you can also change the the detail so like this and I reset this thing here and back to legacy um, sorry to boolean but it also could happen that the slider here maybe it's like this here check this here and when you use here the boolean, sorry, I'm, I'm reducing the detail a little bit more. So now you get a triangle for, um, for the trimming here. So the detail is too low. So, or maybe zero, you get this. So check this here. Now it works. Okay, back to the pumpkin. So we only want to cut through the front side. So I'm using here the top view. I'm using the cell mask and I mask the back side. So, and now 
Here is a split option, shell, shell. And here is a height. So set this height to zero and split your mesh, split. So you get now two parts, the back side and the front side. So here in solo view, it looks like this. And now it's possible to use the trim tool. Here the Boolean is active. And I'm using here maybe the lasso tool. So now I'm boolean the holes and now I select here in the hierarchy both meshes and join them. So now when I'm using x-ray the mesh is connected again. Sorry, there's a bug in the in the app at the moment. And here it's not possible to separate the mesh anymore. So So this is the way how you can boolean trim. So first mask, split and then join it back again. Yeah. Or use legacy mode. So with legacy mode, um, here we can go a step back to this position. It's also possible without splitting legacy. And check here the, the filter settings. So here front vertex only is off. So now it should work. So this is the legacy mode without splitting. Okay. I hope it helps a little bit. Um, it's a complex topic. Um, it's the best. You test everything out. So what everything does. So because you have to understand uh, how it works. So maybe um, you use here the fill option for this object and um, trim here uh, this one. So first, I so it looks like this. And then you use fill, you get something here like this. And I think this is not the thing you want because it's not a, um, a mesh you can use here because it has too many problems. So, yeah, try it out on, on such meshes and see what happens to understand everything. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.